Junkies and welcome back. Horror Junkies 509, Kyle the 13th, coming at you again, you guys. Wanting to wish you guys a happy new year. 2018 is here and it's going to rock and roll just like 2017 did. If you guys don't remember, 2017 was a damn good year for horror. And I am really looking forward to 2018. You know, we know a lot of great things that are coming out, but I'm always looking forward to that things we don't know about yet. The thing, the surprises, the just random things you catch at Walmart or video store. That's what I'm always looking out for because sometimes, damn, those ones are gems. Uh, so what am I doing today, you guys? Um, I was looking at my video collection and uh, the stuff I've been buying recently is getting a little high. So that means I got quite a few movies. So I'm going to go ahead and do my update. I have not done one of these since October, so this will be the update for November and December. That's So that's the way it's going to be. Uh, last update was a lot longer, but this one is pretty big already. Uh, Christmas definitely helped because my girlfriend kicks ass. Uh, but so for this time, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the stuff I bought. You know, DVDs and Blu-rays and something that uh, that's not exactly a movie. Um, and then I'll do the Christmas haul. I just think, I feel like that's the best way to go about it, but you know, I'll keep it in the loop on what's going on. Uh, so first things first, you always, you guys, uh, the non-horror stuff. I didn't do too much non-horror stuff this time. Uh, it's not by choice, just what comes out and what doesn't. So uh, first things first, I went ahead and got the latest. Uh, it's kind of old now, but that's probably why it was in the dollar bin, but that's cool. Uh, the Vacation movie. Uh, this movie is not good by any means necessary, but... Uh, you know, still one of the ones I had to have in the collection. I'm a big National Lampoon's uh, Vacation fan. Uh, Chevy Chase is the man. I really enjoy him. But, you know, I had to have it in the collection. Not good. Not good. Uh, but moving on. We don't want to spend too much time on a bad movie. Uh, I went ahead and got uh, Cars 3. Uh, big big Disney fan. I like the Disney movies, Disney Pixar. And Cars 3 was pretty good. I liked Cars 1 and Cars 2 and then Cars 3. Not too bad. Alright guys, so last but not least uh, for all of the uh, non-horror movies is the War of the Planet of the Apes. Definitely have enjoyed the last couple Planet of the Apes movies and I definitely enjoyed this one. Uh, kind of a different take on, uh, kind of different tone than the rest of them. But I mean, still highly enjoyable. Uh, end wasn't my favorite, but I mean, I guess they had to end the story somehow. Uh, but don't want to spoil it for you guys if you haven't checked it out. But War of the Planet of the Apes, Hail Caesar. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's it. I hope that wasn't uh, pull, like pulling teeth, but uh, I'm going to go right into horror, the stuff we come here for. And I'm always excited for it because, you know, that's the cream of the crop. That's what we all breathe for because we're horror fans. All right, guys, so like always, alphabetical order because I have issues of my own. Um, first one is uh, Rob Zombie's 31. Uh, I have seen this movie. I think it's very subpar to good Rob Zombie movies. You know, well... Compared to House of a Thousand Corpses and stuff like that. I like Devil's Rejects too. Uh, but this one, it's it's okay. I just needed it, you know. to I just wanted it in the collection. Because someday I'm going to want to watch it again. Uh, I enjoy Rob Zombie's films okay. Uh, I'm not... He, everything he does isn't gospel to me. I swear, I, I will promise you that. Uh, but I have not watched it since I bought it. Uh, this next one is a new watch for me. This was uh, should have been in my... Uh, Christmas collection, but it wasn't here yet. I got the remake of Black Christmas. And I gotta say, I liked this one. I just feel like they tried to make, like, give it too much backstory for me. Uh, but, you know, that's everyone's to each his own. Overall, I liked it, but I felt like there's too much backstory to it compared to the first one. Uh, but, you know, I still love the first one. It's not going anywhere, obviously. Alright, you guys, and uh, another movie I haven't watched. I've only watched this movie once, and I just remembered liking it, so I figured I'd better buy it at some point. And it was just, the time was now. And uh, that's Wes Craven's Deadly Blessings. I remember this being a pretty sweet slasher film. Definitely going to have to rewatch it at some point. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll have more to say about it after that. I didn't mess that up, right? This is Wes Craven, correct? Yep, it is. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be wrong and get blown up in the comments. Uh, so these next couple movies were recommendations off of uh, Three Guys That Horror podcast. If you guys do not listen to that, get your uh, fancy phone out. get the Download the app to SoundCloud and get Three Guys That Horror podcast. That's the number three guys that horror. And it's pretty awesome. Uh, if you guys are in the YouTube community, you know these guys. Uh, it's Joe Maganero. We're talking Todd, all things horror. And we're talking Eric from uh, Horror Man Cave. So check them out, you guys. Uh... So these t next couple movies, like I said, were re re ah, recommended to me by them. And uh, so that's going to be uh, 
Night of the Demons 2. I do already have Night of the Demons 1. Uh, it was in my last update. Uh, but they did a podcast on this. Uh, well, the first one, but, you know, kind of all three kind of got tied in a little bit. Uh, but Night of the Demons 2, I liked this movie. I liked it just as much as the first one. I think it was really good. The first one's still the best. And then, of course, Night of the Demons 3. Uh, this one kind of gets a little bit crapped on a little bit, but I highly enjoyed it still. Yeah, it's a little more silly and slapstick than the other ones, but damn. Enjoyable. I really enjoyed all three. Uh, so thanks, Three Guys Dead Horror. <laughs> they were approved, and I checked them out, and I approved too. <laughs> Horror Junkies approved. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, next up is a prequel to a movie that I've talked about before, uh, that movie being uh, Circus of the Dead. I finally was able to get on uh, to Bloody Bill or Billy Palm's uh, site there, and I was able to get Doll Boy, and I did check this movie out. It is just a, um, like 30 minutes or something like that, so it's not very long, but enjoyable. I really It really set the mood and kind of set the pacing a little bit for Circus of the Dead, but definitely I like Circus of the Dead better, but this is a great start. Uh, you can't go wrong with 30 minutes, so there's that. Okay, so this one has another story with it. I've had this movie before. I don't remember watching it ever, and I somehow I either got rid of it or lost it. And then I remember hearing that, yet again, three guys at horror talked about, they reviewed this movie, and uh, that that episode you can't listen to. That one's long gone. Uh, but I definitely wanted to get it because they, they talked kind of highly of it, so I thought I'd check it out. And that's a high tension. Uh, this is a damn crazy movie. Like, kind of, you think you know what's going on, but then it just s flips it on its head and you don't know what's going on. But overall, I mean, it's a great movie. It plays out the way it should. And uh, great kills in this. If you guys are looking for some great kills, awesome. But if you can't handle, like, seeing a kid die, I don't recommend it. But high tension. That was, that was highly enjoyable. Uh, this next one i kind of been hearing about for quite a while. I see the cover. Uh, but this label here is kind of kind of cover up the t cover. Oh, let me see if I can tear that off. Because it kind of covers up the cover. And <laughs> my mom saw this cover and then she thought I had a porno. All right. Okay, perfect. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and got Jacko and Friends. Um, I don't know what the and Friends. It's uh, Dark Universe and Biohazard 2. Haven't seen Biohazard 1. Uh, but I kind of got it mostly for Jacko. Um, really excited to check that one out. Um I mean, yeah, this is this is just what was saw. So everyone thought I bought a porn, but I didn't. It's just a horror movie, and there's probably boobies in it. So you know, it's not porn. It's different. Uh, so excited to check that one out. If you guys know anything about Jacko, let me know. I'm excited to check it out still. And then I got a, I added another Christmas horror movie to my collection this year, and uh, I've watched it once, and it just didn't do it for me. I definitely need to watch it again before I give my overall. Uh, hate opinion of it if that is the case uh, but it's gonna be once upon a time at Christmas uh, I mean one of the killers the female killer just she's basically a wannabe Harlequin basically I'm just getting it out there now just in case if it hasn't been said yet uh, but you know it might still be good I dozed off throughout part of it and I woke up and it just everything just wasn't doing it for me very well so whatever that one's uh that one's a rewatch for me at this point and uh, so, uh, I don't know if you guys have been following the things I've been buying, but I'm really getting into snake horror movies. I've really been digging them a lot. Uh, they're not, there's not a lot of great ones, but there are some good ones out there. You're going to be seeing a lot of snake horror coming through this channel right now, because I'm really in into it right now. Good, bad, doesn't matter. I know there's a lot of snake movies out there with shitty, shitty CGI. I'm dealing with it somehow. Um, so the first up is, uh, and, uh, <laughs> this movie is awesome. Uh, not really scary or anything like that, but just being that there's snakes, it kept me completely entertained. It is a little bit of a slow burn, you know, it gets a little boring, but my problem is, like, if there's a snake around, I'm intrigued because I'm afraid of snakes, but I love snakes. It's a weird love-hate relationship, I guess. Uh, but this was a very entertaining movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it if you're looking for a snake movie. But uh, don't expect, like, a, let's just, Ice Cube is not in it. I mean, so, if you guys are looking for an action movie, it's not that one. Uh, and I did add quite a few more Christmas movies to my collection this year. I just <laughs> kind of, they keep popping up. Uh, so this is the uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, includes three films. It's number three, Better Watch Out. Number four, Initiation. And five, The Toymaker. I have not seen any of these yet. I'm slacking on the Christmas horror right now. Uh, just got a lot of movies that I'm trying to catch up on. And, uh, you know... 
there's I don't have anything I don't have a lot of time to myself uh, I'll be going back to work here soon and then <laughs> a lot of these movies might start collecting dust but I will get to them I assure you uh, I've been hearing a lot of terrible things about uh, initiation but I gotta give it a watch regardless uh, so Silent Night Deadly Night I wanted to finish up that collection I already have the remake if it is a remake I don't know or not that's why I did this just so you know uh, next up was uh, another, I wanted to finish a collection. I don't know if there's any more of these or not. And if you guys know, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely go looking for them. Uh, I already have the first one. Excuse me. Uh, so that's Slumber Party Massacre Part 2. Uh, you know, I just enjoyed the first one just enough. I mean, it's just a silly movie. Uh, silly, silly, funny slasher movie and I enjoy those. I can't really go wrong with them. It's just I'm going to be able to sit, have a couple beers and enjoy the hell out of it. Uh, so Sl Slumber Party Massacre Part 2. And if, needless to say, uh, Summer Party Massacre Part 3. Uh, they, they just look great. It looks like there's going to be plenty of boobies uh, for all to see. Uh, so, looking forward to them. So, I don't know if there's any more of these. And if there is, let me know down in the comments. And always, you guys, if you guys have any uh, recommendations for me, you guys always leave those down in the comments and I'll check it out, get into it. Um, here's a movie I've been wanting to get for a long time. Uh, kind of sparked my interest again after another episode of... Uh, Three guys that whore. Uh, they interviewed Linnea Quigley, so I got the Sorority Babes in the Slime Ballarama. I have not checked this movie out yet, but I'm pretty excited. It looks like a blast. Um, Lin Linnea Quigley is highly recommended this movie. It's one of her favorites, I guess, and uh, I believe uh, Three Guys Whore approve of this one as well. So <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Uh, moving on to a movie I just had to have, even though. I watched it, I hated it, I just wanted it in my collection, and I'm probably going to watch it again. And you know, if I have enough beers, I might enjoy it. And that's uh, Thanks Killing. Uh, yeah, it was kind of at Thanksgiving when I really wanted to watch it. I haven't watched it since I bought it. Uh, but you know, there's going to be a day where I'm just getting enough booze in me, and this is going to be a great movie. I am going to get part three just to have it. Uh, there is no such thing as part two, so don't ask. <laughs> Thanks Killing, you guys. Uh... I think if anyone has seen that movie, they'll understand what I'm talking about. All right, guys. So last up, uh, as far as the DVDs that I bought myself, is uh, Urban Legend. Uh, I've been hearing some good things about this slasher. Never really saw it. Um, I, I I enjoyed it. I think I dozed off at, at some point in it. So definitely a rewatch for me, but I didn't hate what I saw. All right, guys. So before I do the Blu-rays, I just wanted to show up one more thing, and that's the uh, physical copy of... The Friday the 13th video game. Uh, just recently they did the uh, one player mode and I've been playing it quite a bit. I highly enjoy the one player mode. I do not like the computer mode because I'm not into people just sitting around talking shit. Uh, so there's that. Uh, I don't play games online. Uh, it, it can't be because I suck at the game. That definitely can't be it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I just enjoy being left alone and playing it. You know, I like walking around killing people. It's always a good time. It's a good stress reliever after work. Uh, I hope no one at work watches this movie. Okay, so going on to Blu-rays, you guys. Uh, I got quite a few Blu-rays actually. It's been a, it was a good Blu-ray uh, time of the year. Uh, so first things first, I got what is it? Uh, I don't think it's his debut, but I mean it's directed by Robert Freddy Krueger, England, and that's uh, Nine Seven Six Evil. Uh, definitely really enjoyed this movie. I really loved that the kid from uh, Fright Night who plays evil is in this so that was kind of fun uh, loved this movie I really enjoyed it it was a good time and now this next one blew me away I thought I understood what was happening in this movie I thought this was going to be a comedy I thought this was going to be just garbage but it ended up surprising the hell out of me and I really enjoyed it and that's better watch out I've been hearing and seeing lots of talk about this movie and it's definitely worth it uh Good fun holiday horror movie. Uh, you're gonna go into it thinking you know what's going on, and then it's gonna t turn you on your head, and then. But it's still enjoyable. I've heard some people don't like it, but you know, there's always critics out there, guys. Uh, next up is a movie I've been wanting for quite a while. I've watched it a thousand times, but I've never owned it, and that's uh, John Carpenter's Christine. Uh, just definitely one I needed to add to the collection, and I found it on Blu-ray, cheaper than it was on DVD. So, Blu-ray baby, Christine. Uh, this next one's a little controversial, but, you know, uh, Eric Bindle knows what I'm talking about with uh, Completest Issues, and so it was kind of going to have to come to my house either way, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not supporting of anything uh, that was going on in this uh, whole fiasco. 
Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Jeepers Creepers 3, you guys. Uh, not a great movie by any means, but everyone's just getting all crazy about it. I just want everyone to know that there is a terrible installment in every single horror franchise there is out there. So Jeepers Creepers just now isn't any different. Uh, question for you guys. Do you think after everything that this movie went through and it not being good, do you think we'll see Jeepers Creepers 4? What do you guys think? And I'm not asking about, you know, uh, issues with the director. I'm not, I don't want to get into that. I'm asking about the films. I don't care about anything around it or shrouding it. I don't care. Uh, do you think we'll see a Jeepers Creepers 4? That's my only question. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, uh, next up is uh, one I need to rewatch. I enjoyed it okay the first time. I can honestly say I probably didn't like it the first time I watched it, but I definitely want to give it another watch. And that's the, uh, if I don't throw it, uh, Leatherface. Um, there was some great stuff about this film. I really enjoyed a few things about it, uh, but overall, it didn't sit with me too well. Uh, but definitely want to watch it again. It, it had some good stuff. I did enjoy it. Enjoy parts of it, I should say. Uh, <laughs> this one I've had since like almost like the day after I did my last update. And so it's been sitting in my face for a long time. I've watched it. I loved it. Can't wait to watch it again. That's Rawhead Rex. Um, Clyde Barker. Uh, he is the writer of it. And uh, <laughs> I love this movie. I love the way it's filmed. I love the practical effects suit of this monster. It is great. Rawhead Rex. If you haven't seen it, check it out. <laughs> Alright guys, last but not least for the Blu-rays, um, if you guys saw my unboxing of this, you already know it's coming, uh, and that's the uh, Collector's Edition from Scream Factory, Silent Night, Deadly Night. If I don't need to show this anymore, I won't. <laughs> um, so, definitely great. I've checked out a lot the special features on it. It was definitely worth buying, without a doubt. And you guys, that's not all. I'm going to go ahead and run through um, the Christmas movies I got real fast. All of these are the movies my girlfriend Angelina got for me, and she's the fucking... Cat's pajamas right now. I love that girl. She's awesome. Uh, she got me some great horror because she's into horror as well. So she kind of gets ones that she wants to see as well. My girl's got good taste. And she gets what I want to. Uh, so I finally got the fourth installment of Anacondas. Uh, this franchise has definitely gone down since the very first one. I really wish they could keep the uh, effects from the first one. The snake in the very first one looked great. Uh, but glad to have this in the collection. It's definitely one of the... Uh, Another CGI, terrible looking snake, but it's fun to watch. It's a great time. I got—I think I got drunk on that one. Uh, it was still enjoyable. Uh, Christmas movie I've been wanting to watch for... I've seen it quite a few times, but I've always enjoyed it. Uh, I've seen a lot of people dislike it, but... A Christmas Horror Story. Uh, I liked them. I really enjoyed this whole set of the little stories, because it is, it is an anthology. Uh, but you know, I just, I couldn't help but love it. I watch it, and it just get, has that great feeling of Christmas. It feels Christmassy, people, and I love that. Um, this was a recommendation by Eric Bindle, um, Horror Man Cave, off of another episode of, uh, Three Guys at Horror. Uh, he was talking about this movie, and he was telling how much he liked it, and I definitely, right from there on, I wanted to check it out, and that's, uh, Daddy's Little Girl. Uh, just to forewarn you guys, if any of you guys are gonna check this out, it is gonna hit you in some soft spots, most likely, unless you're just demented as fuck. Uh, but I'm not demented as fuck, it... It, it, def it definitely kind of a, t not a tough movie to get through, but it's, it's definitely got some things in it that might make you cringe or, you know, want to look away. Uh, but definitely a uh, great movie to check out. Horror fans are going to like this one. Uh, if you're a parent, definitely it's going to be a little harder to watch. And I, I'm not a parent, but still it's kind of hard, uh, the whole as story aspect, but it was really good. Um, and this was my very first watch of 2018. And I, I had it up on my Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, at HorrorJunkies509, this is the kind of stuff you can look forward to seeing. That's uh, Hide and Go Shriek. I really liked this slasher movie. Uh, definitely needs a little more respect than it's getting. I think it just got a Blu-ray release from uh, Code Red, I believe. But I definitely wanted to pick up the DVD because I like DVDs a little better. Which is weird, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, Hide and Go Shriek. Enjoyed it. <laughs> and this one I've been eyeballing for quite a long time. I've never ever seen it and I cannot wait and just by the title you'll get my drift uh Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers uh next is Franken Hooker uh, I definitely gonna be getting that one next haven't seen that one either but excited to check this one out and then go to that one next all right guys uh next one I've watched this one and uh definitely 
CGI, but I feel like they kind of had a little more, uh, not CGI, actually, take that back. This was a little more practical effects, actually. Um, that's King Cobra. More snake movies, as if I didn't say that already. <laughs> uh, definitely enjoyed this movie. I believe I watched this movie as a kid, because uh, there's things I remember about this and that, that seem familiar. So I'm going to need to rewatch this one, because uh, I just, I think I was busy when I was watching it. Uh, the last DVD I got, you guys, is the, uh, Rock and Roll Nightmares. Uh, my girlfriend knows I'm into rock and roll and horror movies, so this is gonna be a great movie. I've never seen it before. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. This looks like a great time. Alright, then she also got me, uh, two Blu-rays, you guys, uh, that I'm gonna show you. Um, uh, have not seen this one yet, and it's the house that screamed, but with the cover like that, how can you say no? Uh, looking forward to checking this one out. And, uh, this is... The second horror movie I watched in 2018, uh, that is The Intruder. I uh, just got done watching this one right before I did this video. Um, definitely a kind of different slasher. Uh, I feel like it was weird just because like you don't see any of the people get killed really. You just see the aftermath. Uh, it's a little bit of a slow one as well. So uh, overall, I'm not recommending it uh, unless you guys are into the, kind of the slower uh, burn slasher movies. And maybe like you don't need to see all the killings that you can see the aftermath not bad i will be this will be another watch for me uh enjoyable i'm i'm gonna say that all right you guys um finally made it without my losing my voice completely uh that is quite a big update you guys let me know what you think what is the favorite thing that i got uh that what is my what is your favorite thing that i got this time uh let me know down in the comments and uh if you guys got anything to say about any of these titles let me know and i'll get back to you on that that's going to do it for me, Horror Junkies 509, Kyle the 13th, for the first time in 2018. We'll be coming back next time, you guys, and I'm signing out just until next time. And you guys already know it, I've been sentenced to life. I'm a horror lifer in 2018, 19, 20, 21. I'm going to keep going. All right, you guys, you have a good one, and I hope you guys are having a killer day out there. See you next time. Yo, what's going on, fellow junkies, fellow horror fans, subscribers, the new and the old. I hope you guys really enjoyed what you saw here. If you guys want to leave me a like and a comment, let me know that you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you guys can come back and see me again. Horror Junkies 509, Kyle the 13th. That's right. I'm a horror lifer.